it is. Good morning, Kayama. We're Alicia and Jared, and we've been traveling the world full time for the last 12 years. After more than a decade on the road, we've now come back to Australia and bought a camper van to explore more of our home country. Subscribe to our channel and follow our journey as we seek out Australia's best landscapes and adventures while living the van life. We've come down to shoot the Cathedral Cave. That's the cathedral just there. Jared's in the cave right now. He's a little bit braver than I walking along the rocks. So I've just uh, been filming around this area and really enjoying the peaceful times, crashing of the waves. So nice. Oh, I'm gonna be back. <laughs> today and I was checking Google Maps and saw that Bombo Beach has got a car park and a toilet block so we thought we'd drive on up here, park the van, get a little bit of work done and we managed to find a spot with a pretty epic view. Look at that. So we're going to set the table up here, chill out, work for a few hours and then we can go out exploring again. decided to stay in the caravan park tonight so we're at Kendall's on the beach in Kayama and we're just going to chill out for the rest of the evening. I think we're just going to have a few beers and some snacks, a bit of an early dinner and then get back into some photo editing. So another successful fun day in Kayama. Looking forward to seeing what tomorrow has to offer. Cheers! Cheers. Come back down to Bombo Quarry for sunrise and the surf is way bigger than it was yesterday. It's uh, very crazy, very impressive, but it's not actually safe to get right up to it and photograph it. So I've been going for a little bit of a walk trying to find a different perspective where you can still see the waves smashing up against these basalt columns while staying safe and dry. And I think I might have found a spot, so I'm going to go back, collect the cameras and see if I can relocate. And Check it out. Probably get the drone up soon too because what I can't get with me standing there, I can definitely fly the drone to get to. Okay, so this is where I've come to set up and uh, I, I, just, I just can't get over how crazy this is. I've never seen anything like this before. It is hammering in and even where I'm standing, where it's pretty dry, um, I mean, you look at these waves coming in, it's just, you don't even know where to go or what to stand or like come over this end, it's, it's no. We felt like there was so much to do in Kayama and we started to stress ourselves out because we were like, we just don't have enough time here. We uh. felt really overwhelmed. So we booked into a caravan park for two nights and we actually extended it over the long weekend. So it's giving us more time to explore the area, get the photographs we want and just take our time and not stress. Yeah, I think it was probably the best thing that we could have done because I mean, Kayama is just so beautiful and there are so many amazing places to check out. come down to the big blowhole here in Kayama. It's one of the spots that I think this place is most famous for. And basically what you got is this volcanic rock here. There's a chamber in a cave. The water comes pummeling in to the chamber, creates a bunch of upward pressure. The water shoots out there. And it's a pretty amazing spectacle, especially on a day like today when the surf is pumping. This is 
the cave where the water comes pummeling into the blowhole. It goes through here, hits the chamber, and then it explodes right there. Oh, I timed that really well. I was stoked for that. <laughs> because of all the basalt rocks that they have around the coastline, they built this lighthouse in 1887 to help warn shipfaring captains that uh, you got to be careful of the insane rocks and you don't, know, you know, kind of hit them and come unstuck in the ocean. Imagine in the past, like little lanterns, and they had to light them with fuel every night and do all that. Yeah, they just have a bunch of candles up there. Yeah, it would have been very interesting. Now you just have an iPhone light. <laughs> up from Kendall's on the beach caravan park here this little hiking trail that cuts up to the little blowhole so we're gonna go check that out and I think we're gonna get some perfect light when we get up there as well and the surf's been pumping as you guys saw a little bit earlier on so I think the blowhole is gonna be really active and going quite insane actually even just this trail though I mean you get some amazing views right here there's jagged rocky coastline around Kiama <music> We just got back to Kendall's on the Beach Caravan Park and because it's a long weekend, they're almost fully booked. So we did have to move the van, but uh, they put us in a spot that's got ocean views. Doesn't get much better than that, eh? What do you think, Lee? $30 a night too, for Bargain. unpowered. <sighs> Amazing. Well, that's it for our time here in Kayama. That was an awesome last breakfast overlooking the beach there. We're just packing up the van now, ready to head to Jervis Bay. That's our next stop. We're super excited to check out that place as well, as we've heard many good things about it. But if you're coming through Kayama, we highly recommend stopping. It is a great place for doing the coastal walk, also photography. You can just chill out and really take in the coastal views. But anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we bring out a new video every week. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next adventure.